What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Ruby walkthrough. In the last part, we got our adventure started here in the Hoenn region by choosing Torchic as our starter, and then towards the end, we caught our second team member, aka Wally the Ralts. And yeah, we met, you know, the professor, our rival, our mom, but it's time to move away from home as we are here on Route 102 and ready to fight some trainers time to get into some legitimate battles so yeah the goal in this video is to actually get all the way through the Petalburg woods i'm gonna see if we can actually do that i know there's a lot of things that we have to do until then and i am switch training a bit so um expect a few battles to get cut out now one thing i want to go ahead and mention right now is that there are already trainers that you can go ahead and rematch if you were to have the pokey nav and the uh, match call feature by now. However, we do not get the Pokenav until after the first gym, so don't worry about it right now, but this guy right here, Youngster Calvin, is one of those trainers that you can um, rematch. I don't know if they automatically register to your match call or if you have to like purposefully talk to them after the battle um, in order to register them, but yeah, then it's similar to like the Pokegear from Gold and Silver as they will just randomly call you at certain points asking for a rematch. Alright, Bug Catcher Rick right there just had two Wurmples, and Ralts almost got up a level. I'm really just waiting until it hits level 6 and gets Confusion, and then, you know, it'll actually be able to do some things on his own. And even Torchic right now isn't looking that good, since it doesn't have Ember, but it's okay. If we can beat Pokemon and Silver with, you know, a team that includes Fortress and Delibird, then this team is fine for now. And yeah, of course I'm referring to the Pokemon Silver walkthrough that we just finished up, which if you haven't seen that series, I would highly recommend checking it out. Um, I think I used a pretty cool and unique team and I've got a pretty cool one set up for this walkthrough as well. Um, I tried to go with Pokemon that I've never used before. Of course I have used a Torchic before, but you know, you gotta choose a starter, man. They're the starter Pokemon. And there's a double level up for us right there. That is sweet, and now we are seeing a Tailo for the first time. This is like, you know, your regional bird Pokemon. And it only has one evolution though, as opposed to two, like, you know, Pidgey and um, Starly do and those types of Pokemon. But definitely still a good option, you'll be able to find it on the route after the upcoming city. For now, this one's only level 3, so... Even with that growl, it's going to go down pretty dang easily. With a crit as well, let's go little. Alright, sweet. So, moving on from, what was that, Youngster Allen right there? We are going to come across our first berries. Yeah, this was a new feature in the Gen 3 games. You'll just come across um, berries, you know, chilling on random routes. And I'm always going to pick them up because why not? I might cut out the process because there's some times where, you know, they're just... A little tedious but you never know when berries could come in handy they can heal up um, status problems and all that good stuff and if you really want to be good to the environment you can like replant berries and you know water them once you get the little spray bottle a little later on in the game and then you can come back to each route and you know they'll actually be grown and you can keep on um, picking them but I'm not gonna do that because it's a Pokemon game so we don't have to worry about the environment you know everyone's gonna survive even if we don't replant berries Anyways, um, yeah, this is the last trainer for this route, though. She's just gonna have two, uh, two Zigzagoons, and then we will reach Petalburg City, which does have a gym, but it is not, um, it is kind of blocked off to us right now. We will be heading in there for a little thing that we have to do. However, um, our dad, Norman, who is actually the, uh, actually the gym leader here in Petalburg City, he is the um, fifth gym leader as opposed to the first. So we'll come back here later on in the game. But for now, we're kind of just going to, you know, gloss over the gym. We don't really need to worry about it. And Wally is so close to level six. Man, I'm just waiting for it. I want to get there so bad. That will, uh, that will definitely be nice to have confusion because, you know, Ralts, Curlia, Gardevoir. I've never used them before, but I'm pretty positive they are... Relatively strong Pokemon. I mean psychic types are usually pretty good. They've got great special attack We'll get access to stuff like psychic later on in the game. So it's gonna be pretty awesome All right before you leave the route don't forget about the potion right 
below this ledge and let's not run into a wild Pokemon thank you very much and we are now in Petalburg City so let me heal up real quick and then there's really only one thing you need to do here right now there's a couple of items you can get once you have surf because there's you know a few ponds around but other than that um the only place you need to go to for now is the Petalburg gym as I said and wow that lady just cut me off unbelievable all right so yeah your dad's gonna be standing right in the front of the gym and fun fact he's actually a uh, normal type user I guess that's not really a fun fact, you guys knew that. I don't know why I said fun fact, but here comes someone that we haven't seen. And yeah, he is actually a guy called Wally who lives in Verdant Turf Town, and he's looking to start his Pokemon journey. So um, our dad promised him to give him a Zigzagoon in order to help him catch his first Pokemon. So unfortunately, our dad kind of, you know, gave us the uh, duties of babysitting making sure that Wally can actually do this himself. So yeah, we head back on to Route 102, and here's the part that makes me mad. Wally runs into a Ralts on his very first encounter. I mean, do you know how long it took me for that 4% encounter rate to finally come to fruition in the last episode? It took me, you know, a solid minute. Um, And, you know, I say minute, that's really underestimating it. It took me... A, a good bit but no Wally here just does it on his first try um also it can be a shiny Pokemon so yeah that would just make someone even more mad if Wally caught a freaking shiny now I don't think it actually stays shiny when you fight him later in the game which would have been a cool reference in it did, uh, if it did but yeah he's just gonna use the uh, Zigzagoon to weaken him down and this serves as you know your generic catching tutorial so uh yeah, he's going to get it first of all, of course. And now we are going to head back to Norman. So yeah, congratulations, Wally. We'll only fight this dude twice in this game. The first one, he'll still have the Ralt, so it'll be pretty easy. The second one will be relatively tougher, uh, tougher though. And um, yeah, not sure why my voice broke up right there. But our dad gives us the tip that um, we should go to Rustboro City because that's where the actual first gym leader is located. So let's head on over to Route 104 as this will eventually take us to Rustboro. Now, as I said earlier here on Route 104, you can get yourself a Talo. That's the only new mon you can find up here in that grass. But first, we're going to head down onto the beach. And yeah, this person doesn't fight you, but there are a few trainers to fight. And Route 104 actually extends um, to the um, northern part after the Petalburg Woods, but there's no new Pokemon or anything. Also, there are a few hidden items that you can grab down here on the beach, um, those being an antidote, heart scale, and potion. So, honestly, like, you know, the heart scale might be worth picking up for later on in the game. But, oh boy, you're going for bide. Okay, that's annoying. That do be annoying. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to waste turns here going for, like, focus energy and growl. Yeah, if you don't know, Bide, you know, stores up all the damage that gets dealt to the Pokemon for two turns and then unleashes it for double. So that's why I don't want to attack this fool. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, that heart scale might be worth picking up. Other than that, there's just, like, an antidote and a potion. So nothing too crazy. And I thought that would kill. I guess it's fine, though, because we outspeed. So... There we go, we took down the C dot, and I'm not going to look for the hidden items right now, I don't want to waste time doing that, but I might come back and get them off camera, just because why not. Even though I really should show them on camera for, you know, the walkthrough aspect, but it's fine, it's just a potion and an antidote, y'all don't really need to see it. Anyways, Wally finally leveled up there, so now it can actually attack, yay, unfortunately, yeah, we don't have very good defense, so even though we can do some damage, we're still pretty frail. Alright, little, get back out here. You gotta use your little scratch in order to take this man down. And hopefully we get Ember at level 10. I'm not sure what level it is, but um, hopefully it's, you know, 10 or 11. I feel like it's uh, it's been, you know, overdue to get a stab attack. And it also got a crit peg. That is... Just not cool, man. Not freaking cool. All right, down goes the tail low finally. And dang, now I have to heal up at the Pokemon Center. That is great. And there's Ember though, so there's something good coming out of this battle. 
And there is the hidden antidote right there. So I was able to find that. And um, I believe the heart scale is somewhere southwest of the grass that's up here. Doesn't really give a specific location. I'm going to try to find it for you guys, though. Let's see. I don't want to waste too much time. There it is. All right, sweet. And then I know the potion is kind of in between. Um, well, I guess the fisherman is only an emerald, but he's right above this bug catcher, I think. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. Um, the bug catcher, I don't think battles you. Um, I was thinking of Pokemon Emerald. I'm pretty sure a fisherman battles you here. Now, keep in mind that Mr. Briny's Cottage sits here. We don't know who that is yet, but that place will be very important a little later on. For now, let's pick up some more berries, and then we will battle the last trainer before going into the Petalburg Woods. And we're making pretty good time on this episode, so I'm pretty sure we should be able to get through the entire place which is nice but first we have to battle this rich guy and boy do i hate these people these are the types of dudes that love to use full restores on their freaking um you know weak little zigzagoons and stuff and i'm like dude seriously seriously you gotta be like that so yeah it's it sucks but um you know oh hey we got a confusion there but yeah, hopefully he doesn't get down to healing range, knowing my luck. He probably will, and we'll see, you know, a few rich people throughout the game. And it's just really annoying, like, four restores this early on in the game. I mean, seriously, what are we doing, you know? Come on, hit yourself, please, Zigzagoon. No, of course not. Okay, yeah, now we're gonna knock him down to red health, and then he's gonna heal all the way back up. And another confusion does the trick. Nice going, Wally, with his first official takedown, I guess, if you want to call it. And we defeated Rich Boy Winston. And you do get a ton of money. Also, Rich Boy Winston will rematch you once you have access to the Pokenav. Um, but for now, let's head on into the Petalburg Woods. So, for new Pokemon in here, you can find the evolved forms of Wurmple, being Silcoon and Cascoon. But the two main new Pokemon you can get are Shroomish and Slackoth. Both of them are really good options. Of course, Slackoth is kind of a rare encounter, and you know, it's got the Truant ability. So does its fully evolved form, which is Slacking, who is a very powerful Mon. Um, also, right here is a hidden potion. And just under us is another exit that leads back to Route 104, we, uh, where we can pick up a Pokeball. And as for Shroomish um, in this area, Shroomish is a grass type. It learns, you know, all of those, you know, Stun Spore, Sleep Powder moves. But it evolves into Breloom, who's a grass fighting type. And I've actually used a Shroomish before and a Breloom. And I gotta say, it is a pretty awesome Pokemon. You know, you can really do some damage with, like, the status moves. And Breloom getting the part fighting type is really cool as well. All right, that lovely guy just had a full team of Wurmples, and when I say a full team, I mean six freaking Wurmples, because there's got to be a bug catcher like that in every single game. Um, but it was good experience for Ralt, so I also took the time to go back and heal as well. Now up here, about halfway through the forest, you're going to find a guy who looks kind of, um, you know, curious, because he's looking for a Pokemon called Shroomish. But then here comes someone else dressed up in a pretty funky outfit. He's going to introduce himself as Team Magma. And apparently they're trying to steal some research papers from this guy who works for the Devon Corporation. And we got to stop him. So yeah, this is um, Team Magma if you're playing Pokemon Ruby. It is Team Aqua if you're playing Pokemon Sapphire. And yeah, so I'm sure you guys know by now, depending on the game you're playing, that's the evil team you'll see. And even in both games, you will see both teams it's just that one will kind of be more on your side um and that's you know the team that is not against you in like you know for example i'm playing pokemon ruby so team aqua is going to be more on our side i hope that made sense i know that was a very convoluted way to say it but yeah for now this team magma grunt only has a Pucciana, and we defeated him super easily but get used to seeing these people, because they are like Team Rocket and Team Galactic, you know, we'll be seeing a lot of them. So for now, he's just going to run off, and this employee will, um, will thank us by giving us a Great Ball, so that is pretty nice. And yeah, I don't really understand why they were trying to get the Devon Papers, because 
I don't think it really relates to their overall goal, which I won't say what it is now because we'll find out later, but it's just really weird in my opinion. Anyways, right there is another hidden item, which is a Pokeball, and now we have one more trainer to go before we are out of the Petalburg Woods. Um, also, I believe um, Bugcatcher James, who is this guy right here, is um, he is available to rematch uh, once you get the Pokenav. So yeah, I'm going to try to list off all the, all the trainers that will rematch you, just like I did in the Silver walkthrough. However, I think towards the end of that walkthrough, I kind of... I don't know, just forgot about it. I feel like I missed a bunch of people in the post game, but it's okay. I'll do my best here in this walkthrough, I guess. Come on, hit yourself, Nincada. Man, we have not been getting good confusion luck. All right, well, that is fine. That is fine. All right, so yeah, this will be the final trainer to go down. And I believe we have one more item to pick up as well, as Wally is almost caught up with Torchic, which is nice because we'll definitely need him for the upcoming gym. But for now, let's grab the ether up here if I want to run into a freaking Wurmple. Come on, at least give me something cool like a Shroomish or Slackoth. We've been seeing Wurmple since Route 1. But yeah, let's grab the ether, and just ahead is the exit to the Petalburg Woods. Now, just to the right, though, is um, some cut trees that we won't be able to get to until after we defeat the first gym. So, you know, don't worry about them for now. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Part three will be up tomorrow. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. And until next time, deuces.